It may surprise you to learn that 10% of all babies in the United States are born preterm. Being born preterm poses substantial risks to the health and well-being of the newborn. Fetal fibronectin, or FFN, is a glue-like protein that helps bond the baby's membranes to the mother's. The absence of FFN and cervical vaginal secretions between 22 and 35 weeks gestation is reassuring that the baby is firmly attached and the patient is highly unlikely to deliver imminently. Conversely, the presence of FFN and cervical vaginal secretions during this time is concerning and indicates that there is a breakdown at the fetal maternal bond, putting the patient at a higher risk of an imminent preterm birth. The rapid FFN test detects the presence of FFN and cervical vaginal secretions and is used to help rule out imminent preterm labor. Approximately 80% of patients receive a negative FFN test result, meaning they have less than 1% chance of delivering in the next 14 days, giving healthcare providers the critical information they need to feel confident in a decision to discharge a patient. Conversely, a positive result can help a healthcare provider decide whether to provide interventions, such as magnesium sulfate and antenatal corticosteroids. A positive result can also help determine if a patient needs to be transferred to a hospital with a higher level neonatal intensive care unit to deliver her baby. And while a positive FFN test result does not mean that a patient will deliver imminently, approximately half of all patients with a positive FFN result will deliver preterm. So, a positive result is a strong indication that something is going on with her pregnancy and extra attention is needed. That's why it's so important to perform a rapid FFN test on every patient presenting with symptoms of preterm labor. Next up, we'll cover how to collect an FFN specimen and where to send it for stat testing.